Goel. Good morning to everyone present here. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce our today's resource person, Mr. Vinayak B. Kulkarni, Director, SW Engineering. Sir has completed his engineering from KD College, presently working as a Director of SW Engineering. Sir has vast knowledge of new technologies and developed and designed various software projects for different companies, worked on cloud uh, native technologies, NATS, Redis, Server, etc. Also worked on cloud platforms, AWS, Telet, Grafana, Google Data Studio. Sir has vast knowledge about the various tools such as GitLab, Jared, Atom, VS Code, Netadata, and uh, Valgrid, SonarCube. Sir has mastered various skills like embedded programming, industrial IoT, dockerization, web applications, microservices, DB strategy, plotty charts, stepping, packaging, and many more. With this brief introduction, I wholeheartedly welcome you, sir. Thank you, sir. Startup is a talk of the town, right? Uh, in the industry, everybody knows what is a startup, and uh, uh, our government also is giving a lot of importance to startup. Have you guys heard about Startup India? So, uh, Startup India is one of the platforms for uh, all the startups with uh, certain innovative ideas. Okay, and they are giving a grant up to 20 lakh rupees. 20 lakh. I'm audible, right? Okay. So, what is a startup? So, what is a startup in itself, uh, right? So it's a very young company with uh, a lot of uh, new ideas. Uh, may not be a lot of new ideas, it might be just one, right? One idea that can make a, a powerful business or try to solve uh, some social problem, okay? So that's a, a, a startup, okay? So it's a very uh, young company. Do we need very young people in this? Do we need a very, uh, only the young people can do a startup or it's for everyone? Everyone, right? Even uh, age old people, uh, if they have some great ideas, right? So is it uh, specific to just technologies? Like uh, uh, even a papad, right? Papad com uh, company also can be a uh, graha udyog, lot of graha udyog is there. Uh, those companies are also startup. Lot of mechanical in, uh, mechanical innovations are happening. Lot of uh, other things also. There, there are startup for everything. Okay, so you would have seen uh, recently uh, we, uh, in Bangalore, right? There was a po uh, 
post office that was uh, developed with a 3D design. Okay, that again comes up with a startup idea. Like uh, you have a 3D printing actually uh, building the whole buildings. Okay, and uh, our uh, minister, Mr. Ashwini uh, Vaishnav, he inaugurated that uh, post, which was not a regular construction, but it was built with a 3D uh, design. Okay, 3D based concrete. So those are uh, again some startup ideas which have come in place into the actual uh, uh, field, and uh, it's not just computer science it, uh, or IS. It can be anything. Okay, even uh, other domains can have uh, the ideas. So, so what's the most uh, important thing with a startup? Okay, so it's innovation right very important word innovation have you guys heard about innovation what's the difference between an innovation and invention anyone anyone can answer that get up and answer feel free okay even if it's a wrong guess no problem so what's a innovation and invention what's the difference You guys did breakfast or no? I, I, I used to get a lot of answers from CS department. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, just feel free. Like, what's the innovation and what's the invention? What's the difference? Hmm? Anyone want to answer that? Okay, okay, okay. So what's the okay. uh, answering? So invention is uh, in making something that is not uh, present, that is not being done before. Innovation is doing something differently. So uh, innovating that idea and making it more feasible. Okay, you know the idea, right? Still you are sitting quiet. Okay, so. It's as simple as that. Like innovation is uh, invention is basically you, you found out somebody found out a bulb, right? Or a, a motor or a mobile phone, right? Invention. A phone was invented for what purpose? It was invented just for communication, right? Making the calls. Now what we are doing with it, right? Lot of things like you are taking pictures. Was it meant for that? Initially, it was invented just for communication, right? So, over a period of time, uh, innovations happened and uh, you have all those uh, small computers running in your pockets, right? So, so uh, startups are all about innovating the things. How do we improve the existing thing? As well as, there might be some inventions also, but mostly it's uh, revolving around innovation, how how do we disrupt the market with certain ideas? Okay, so so that's a main thing. Like uh, then, uh, so often uh, they are in some uncertain market, like uh, markets where trends are kept on changing. You have uh, uh, your uh, WhatsApp, you have Telegram, lot of applications coming around, right? You have you had some. Uh, Indian products also coming there and going. Okay, they are, they have uh, individuals in them uh, themselves like some Snapchat or something. You might be using those. Those all are like working in some uncertain market and they might have their own peaks and they might go down. Uh, right, last year uh, there was uh, like WhatsApp was, was it there around eight years back? We we didn't see any WhatsApp or anything. Like Facebook was more popular those days. Before that, we had something like output. We are using that and uh, right over a period of time, uh, things have changed. Now you guys are using chat GPT. Was it there? It was not there, right? So before that, we used to do Google search, right? Uh, till uh, 
till uh, last two decades mostly we were uh, using google search now there is a market but it's very competitive okay often the market requirements keep changing if if you have built something really great and somebody has something better than that your all product has gone for a toss right so that's where we call it like it's a very uncertain market and uh, yeah last one is about vitamin m vitamin m what is that paisa right money so to run the show you need money right so uh, uh, startup uh, like maybe youngsters they don't require much money but at end of the day uh, to execute your ideas uh, you need certain resources you might need some people also okay so it's not like uh, okay uh, one question here like how many of you are interested in getting into a, some top mnc uh, and getting a job there can you guys raise your hand like you want to get into top mnc with big salary packages how many of you are interested in that not interested ma no? not interested in getting good salary hmm? you right so how many of you are really interested in uh, making like this is a uh, opposite of that right so how many of you are interested in having your own company maybe some thought process you have certain ideas you want to implement those like how many of you are interested in those kind of uh, things anyone anyone interested in having your own idea executed maybe you are mini projects right you are doing mini project maybe in the similar line you will go and develop something which will become a bigger product and it can solve certain social issues okay so this is like what kind of semester like this guys are the one next four and second right this is the time uh, did you have any mini projects did you people work on some mini project or like you you people are starting up right you might have some ideas you have a bunch of like three four people right you have a small idea uh, which which might be really interesting okay you think it's this can make a lot of value addition that's why like once you go out of college okay maybe three years from there you have marriage you have kids all that you have more responsibilities okay everyone will have more responsibility but this is the age when you don't have much responsibility nobody is expecting money out of you right so once you get out of college your parents will expect you to uh, maybe do some higher study after that what you need to go for a job right you need to earn so this is a sweet spot in your uh, life like where you can get started with your own ideas okay and lot of grants are available government grants are available to make it your ideas happen okay uh, for maybe some procurement or something like that if it's a software application like mostly if it's a open source then you know you need not spend any money okay uh, so uh, typically uh, the vitamin m uh, we can uh, do it through bootstrapping like that's you are putting your own money okay maybe uh, you have some money you get uh, you invest that uh, in executing your project uh, project or uh, whatever idea then there is a venture capitals like lot of uh, uh, venture capitals are coming this is uh, you have heard like this company got a uh, 8 million dollars of kind of series uh, seed seed investment then series investment all that right so th those are the two, two methods uh, we can get it from a venture capital also but which one is organic among this okay so the organic growth is definitely through bootstrapping okay uh, because if somebody is putting money on you like the venture capitals are giving you money they want it with 2x 3x 10x return in this much time they will expect you to generate lot of money and uh, there will be lot of maybe there is lot of pressure also right nobody will give it just like that take take 2 million dollars nobody will tell that they expect a return after 3 years maybe it will become 20 million dollars
So, uh, so the takeaway from this slide is like you, uh, you all are in that sweet spot, okay, where you can have your own startups. So, why startups uh, uh, matter? Okay. So, as I told, like uh, they drive a lot of innovation, right? Uh, uh, how many of you are in LinkedIn? All of you are LinkedIn uh, in LinkedIn. Okay, you guys see a lot of uh, uh, videos there uh, coming up with certain new ideas. Are you uh, like all of you need to be on LinkedIn? Okay, you you need to grow your professional network slowly, and this is a time where you will see a lot of ideas on LinkedIn or maybe through certain other channels also. Uh, I had seen a, a bicycle, okay, a bicycle video where they had a smart but old hero bicycle. Basically, it's a old hero bicycle where you can connect your uh, some kind of a battery they had designed which can be hooked to that and you are uh, it's running like a uh, electric vehicle right that's a innovative idea it need not be the completely a uh, new product altogether it can be something which is enabling you to get better okay your lifestyle it's making better all right so those kind of things also like th those are coming through uh, home this technical technological advancement some new ideas are coming up uh, the, and next one is like creating new jobs right uh, so i have an office here in somar pet okay there are uh, more, uh, some 12 engineers uh, currently working okay and uh, we had like people coming in, going out, all that, like nearly 20, 25 people. So that's kind of, a, we are creating new jobs with this, okay? If you are in the MNC, you are getting some good salary. What next? What you are doing for others, right? You might be doing something for your family, but are you creating new jobs there? You are not creating any new jobs, just you, you are earning, right? You are, your salary is increasing from a, 10 lakh to 20 lakh to whatever, okay? So, as a startup, you can definitely create new jobs and see that happiness in their family, right? A lot of uh, economical growths are happening uh, uh, due to this. Like, uh, uh, even in like small cities, like in Belgium, we don't have much of IT presence here. What you can do here, like, uh, Instead of like maybe not everyone wants to go and settle in Bangalore. That's where you are giving them some platform where they can do a quality job. Okay, they are able to do something which is not happening in even the MNCs. Okay, we are working on hardware electronics. We are working on some firmware, uh, embedded firmware, uh, and of course your uh, UI UX web technologies. So everything can be done at. Uh, in small cities too, right? You have, uh, through uh, COVID has made us, uh, taught us like how to work remotely or like how to work from anywhere. The technology is so much available over YouTube and all the places, right? You, you want, even if you want to do some programs, you you have this uh, new Gemini, chat GPT, all that, like which, which can give you definitely some kind of advantage. Then uh, training materials are available. So basically you are creating new jobs, uh, the economic systems you are uh, creating. Uh, so there is a company Zoho, which I will be uh, going in the upcoming slides. So they are working in Chennai, okay, they are, they, they are in Tamil Nadu, in some remote place in Tamil Nadu. They started working in 1990s, okay. So uh, it's a top billion dollar company now, they have whole, whole uh, revamped that uh, rural areas of that Tamil Nadu, okay, using uh, with their company as a great platform. So creativity, a lot of like opportunities are there for creating uh, the things in your own specific domain also. Suppose you are working here, it's not just you having a startup, maybe you are part of a startup, right? 
So that definitely also gives a lot of value addition. Like compared, uh, like you you are. Uh, I was working for a product startup uh, at an Arc Microsystems before I before that I was working with LG Electronics. Okay, I saw a tremendous different difference between a MNC where I have a defined process. I have to go through that process and do the things. Okay, and uh, that's about a MNC. In a startup. We are together building some product. I have certain innovative ideas. I can implement in that product. Okay, I have I have that uh, advantage in a startup to you know create creativity, my own creativity. How do I bring into the product that is uh, uh, available with, uh, in a startup culture? Okay, and risk taking definitely like uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, you will be taking a risk in your uh, like. Uh, 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 risk in life. Uh, basically, you are uh, not going to uh, uh, making any earnings uh, initially. All that risks are uh, there. Okay. And uh, addressing certain uh, social needs. It, it it may not be that you have a well idea right now. Okay. But maybe like you are seeing into your surroundings, okay? You are seeing in your surrounding like maybe uh, there is a uh, uh, dustbins are there in our campus, right? So, so how do how do we innovate so that dustbins are uh, not getting littered? That's a simple example. Like how do we ensure dustbins are getting picked up frequently? That's one small use case I'm telling. Like. Like that, there are many social challenges and environmental related challenges that we can take up as a startup and try to solve those. And there is a platform right now. Startup India is giving the platform for all these kind of social environmental challenges to solve as an engineer. They are giving the grants, funding, all that is happening with the uh, Startup India and other some government bodies are giving us and it's not like a very lengthy process also. It's a, it will take you two to three months and you have to give certain presentations on your idea. First thing is what is my idea, what I want to solve and is that unique, is that going to bring us certain business proposition. That's the main thing uh, we need to ask. We'll see in the upcoming slides the process. So anyone has any idea, uh, like can anyone open up on some social or environmental issues which any idea is coming in your minds, anything coming in your minds like? Right. Good, good, good. Cool. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon sir. Uh, during our avalanche time, uh, we had presented a paper uh, which uh, used to track how much trash is getting collected in gardens. And uh, that, that mechanism had, uh, that was an IoT application where if the dustbin is filled up to certain level, then an alert will be sent to the corporation people to come and collect it. This was an idea. Good. Any other ideas? Any other interesting ideas you guys have? Anyone has want to open up? Just you uh, like any projects you guys have already worked on? That's very interesting. And you have something? Any interesting ideas? Okay. So definitely, it's all about idea and making the idea as business. Okay, it should be a repeatable business also. Nobody will give us money just like that. They want to get it 10x, 20x. <coughs> so the startup, uh, the journey of the startup. Okay. So what all it consists of? So first of all, you have, you should identify a problem. Okay. So, uh, 
identify a problem and uh, brainstorm the solution it's so brainstorming is not just restricted to some people whoever actually facing those problems is it a benefit for them okay does it make a value addition for them so that's about idea generation and uh, validation of the idea itself testing the idea with potential customers okay so last year i i came here for a uh, for the cs projects final year evaluation some of the teams uh, they had they were working with some industries nearby to solve certain uh, problems like uh, they had some sheets and sheets have some holes in that okay they the companies wanted to identify if there is a process gap basically those uh, strips are going out and they wanted some ai ml algorithms to be implemented to find out there is certain issues or not okay so so that that's what, what i'm telling is like get the ideas you can as well like maybe you you have some contacts right industry references uh, get to understand what are their problems it may not be like it will strike your mind directly you can go to people try to understand
so uh, de uh, development of the product so this is a product just not a project okay so projects uh, we are doing uh, projects here uh, uh, example we have certain iot application okay so what we do we take a arduino board and switch it we have certain uh, uh, sdk available with that we try to integrate a sim or whatever and send alert messages just been for a dustbin use case i tell like you would have used the arduino board and just implemented it okay so what matters for the industry is just not a project okay you might might have done it during your project time but it should be a very repeatable solution at a lower cost lowest cost actually okay and so arduino board is not meant for that this is a, just an example and similar way like you you might have idea on certain web application okay so other day i saw some coding uh, system uh, that was implemented so is it really rich for a uh, end user end users are very smart these day, days right they are seeing lot of applications like your zomato application they are seeing they are seeing multiple such a uh, whatsapp is there what they want is a very clear ui if you are your idea is purely a application driven uh, solution right they want it extremely used, uh, user friendly less number of clicks and i am able to do that and i should not have any guide in between you are using the youtube mobile no no so uh, you you all are using G, uh, gmail youtube uh, all those applications do you need need a user guide for that we don't need any user guide just a simple application right so even the whatsapp we, we are able to understand any new features are coming up right how they are getting placed all that we are used to that so if you are building something on a software <coughs> solution software as a service you are building it should be extremely seamless <coughs> okay the development uh, if you are going with the web application you should consider a great ux user experience is extremely important Okay, and next comes the performance. It should not be kind of a hanging application, very slow in loading, all that. So that's good to have in a project, not as a product. Okay. So we are talking here about the startup. That means it's a product which you are trying to sell to someone else. Okay. After development, what comes next? You have you are done with the beautiful uh, solution. then you are going to a market okay so this is the most challenging thing okay we all are engineers we are not into marketing okay so believe me like launching and marketing the strategy for that is not a not a easy uh, walk actually it's very challenging if you want somebody to purchase it na like maybe somebody in your family is going to purchase it but you want to give it to some industry or some b to c if you are going to the customer you want to sell it right they they want everything free nobody is interested in purchasing some solutions okay purchasing the thing so youtube youtube is what free of cost right you how youtube is earning money is through their ads you all might be knowing so that's a way you are not charging your customers directly but through advertising <coughs> making the advertisers and all like you are able to learn to uh, run the business so so launching into the market is extremely important then the growth scaling up that so once you are uh, launching that there should be year on year growth you are adding certain uh, features right which is extremely useful uh, there is a different cycle all together for this there should be a support system also so lot of so this involves uh, the startup journey not just involves you you have an idea and you write a program and run it it's not just that 
you have a marketing, you have a repeatability, you have a support team. Suppose some, some issue is there in your product, they should be able to reach to someone in your team. So that that consists of a support system also. Then manufacturing, if you are going with uh, IoT application, you have PCB is getting designed, all that. So it's a complete uh, ecosystem. It's not just some development activity. So this company, what they have done earlier, the X-ray process was like 
you do you do a X-ray. After that, you have uh, uh, doctor, some radiologist. They will prepare the reports. Okay. So now, so many X-rays happening. So many people going through uh, those uh, uh, suggestions from doctors, right? Uh, and uh, limited number of doctors to prepare such reports. Hmm? So what this company Q.AI did is they uh, they basically screen this X-rays. There there is a set of huge database with them with X-ray report X-ray and the corresponding reports. Okay, you might be knowing you all are uh, learning AI ML. So basically, this tool will take. X-ray uh, as an input, and it will prepare a auto-generate the report. Okay, so you don't need a basically a doctor to give a report. So this is uh, so this is the way they have uh, kind of uh, need of the R was to the, there was a crunch of doctors. Okay, there was a crunch of doctors. Then uh, what these guys did is. They came up with an AIML solution with a deep learning technique, which can, which basically solved that uh, X-ray report generation and assisting the radiologist and any improvements around uh, turn the turnaround time. Right, it's lot quicker now to get those reports. You need not wait for a long duration. So this is a very successful startup in. Uh, 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 data science, then uh, along with the medical medical part. Then there is a Zoho Corporation. Have you any anybody heard about Zoho Corporation? Very uh, interesting company. Uh, like uh, uh, this is a bootstrap company. This is a billion dollar success story. Actually, Mr. Sridhar Bamboo, okay, who came back from United States to have his own dreams come true. Okay. Zoho started as a small company named Adventnet, Adventnet, okay, developing network management software. Okay, unlike many startups that they did not rely on the venture capital. Okay, and they started from a very small village. Okay, within the villages back in 1990s, these guys started, and they are multi-billion-dollar company now. And uh, then, uh, as I told, like the social economic improvements in that uh, area near uh, Chennai, then, uh, you guys should visit zoho.com and see about that company. It's a huge uh, inspiration, actually. So, uh, so uh, this focus on self-resilience, right, and long-term sustainability. Is a valuable lesson for aspiring uh, uh, the entrepreneurs. Basically, you need not get uh, into venture capitals. You uh, start building something. You start earning yourself. Maybe through certain software services. Like you are good with web application development. Then take up the work uh, from Upwork or somewhere. You start generating the revenue, and you input that into your product development. That's a uh, one of the way we are choosing as a company, like we are into software services as well as like we are building our own products also in the IoT space. So making ourselves not depend on venture capital at the same time you have a lot of freedom to develop what you want. You are not depend, don't have any pressure from anything. So this is a startup India's uh, initiatives. Lot of initiative emails keep coming up. I am registered with Startup India. You guys also can register with Startup India. They they work on uh, uh, they look for e-commerce solutions, fintech, gaming, agritech, social impact, uh, what what not, smart city projects. Lot of things. Uh, startup India comes up and there is a. Uh, Procurement scheme also available where startups can, if they are building any hardware products, that is, that can be purchased by Startup India. We are currently registered with KLE Tech Hubli. Okay, uh, visit Startup India also once, uh, get registered there. 
so coming to the actual uh, topic the legal foundation part okay so when we are forming a company there are uh, different kind of uh, uh, like uh, business structures we can bring in like we can have a sole proprietorship then then uh, llc we can a limited liability company or like private limited uh, those kind of companies we can become and it depends on uh, individuals like if they want to go sole they can go with a sole uh, proprietorship okay or like if you have certain partners uh, it's uh, better to go with a private limited firm so obtaining necessary licenses you have uh, uh, one second so i am just showing uh, some of the certificates that we have okay generally it's required like certificate of company uh, incorporation uh, then the, you have a gst certificates the, uh, then if you are doing a import export you need a import export registration then uh, there is a mandatory pan card of the company okay then there is a tan card tax account number some tax account number then so these are some basic documents you need to as a legal uh, uh, if you are doing a company then you need to be uh, following certain legal norms of the land so these these are some doc, uh, things need to be done this can't be done by you guys uh, you need a ca for this chartered accountant so uh, understanding the tax impl implications you have to file certain uh, quarterly or monthly if you are generating the revenues those tax implications we need to understand from our uh, cas then uh, uh, one important thing is contracts uh, uh, nda sign signing anybody you are working with as a company you need to sign the nda basically with your empo employees need to sign the sign the nda then vendors customers all of them you need to have a nda signed with them for any kind of legal uh, scrutiny if it's happening need to ensure uh, we are on the safe part so intellectual properties so this itself is a kind of a huge topic okay so there are different uh, uh, ip protection intellectual properties patenting uh, uh, you you all might have heard about that i believe so uh, so your company's uh, logos trademarking then the uh, the ideas that you have you you need to patent it okay uh, uh, you can patent it locally within india like it's uh, generally we do uh, patenting in india us canada uh, like that based on uh, the market where our product has a great market right so based on that we try to patent in those countries okay at the same time like respecting others intellectual property is also extremely important like if you are growing your business and uh, uh, you know right this samsung got sued by uh, the, for this many dollars this many million dollars all that comes up we should not be in the wrong foot where we are not respecting the intellectual property of others like knowingly or unknowingly if we are doing like we will be in a suit so whatever ideas product ideas uh, come up first uh, we need to check Uh, do they have already there is somebody who is registered with such patents or not that ip production and respecting others patents is extremely important and maintaining the confidentiality agreements with employees and partners uh, through ndas is very important any uh, any questions queries anyone has any queries
తెల్లం సో నెక్స్ట్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ బిల్డింగ్ ద టీమ్ ఓకే దట్స్ ఎథికల్ కన్సిడరేషన్స్ ఓకే సో ఎథికల్ కన్సిడరేషన్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ద యాజ్ అ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ యూ యు ఆర్ అ స్టార్ట్అప్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ యూ నీడ్ టు బీ ట్రాన్స్పరెంట్ అక్రాస్ యువర్ టీమ్ రైట్ దట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బీ లైక్ యు ఆర్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ దెమ్ ఫ్రమ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఈవినింగ్ వీక్స్ వీకెండ్స్ ఆల్ దాట్ యూ నీడ్ టు ఎన్షూర్ లైక్ దర్ ఈస్ అ టోటల్ ట్రాన్స్పరెన్సీ అండ్ అకౌంటబిలిటీ అక్రాస్ ఇండివిజువల్స్ ఓకే so uh, you are sourcing basically all the materials you are getting for any kind of uh, uh, pcb design all that you need to be getting it from the right sources you uh, like gst uh, gst uh, payments all that need to be done uh, and need to procure the materials from right uh, uh, vendors and uh, while marketing the we have seen uh, recently uh, some companies right advertising untruthfully like this is a number one company like if you use this soap then uh, basically you use this uh, medical uh, medicine then your cancer will uh, be gone or something like that uh, those kind of things can definitely be scrutinized by the law of the land okay and you you will be in some false claims are extremely dangerous don't do that be mindful of environment and social impacts so building a strong team uh, so you need diverse skills you uh, just don't need engineering skills there you need people who can manage uh, the things really well and there is a uh, like support staff hr professional whatever required we need to have a diverse skill and experiences so also uh, like we need to foster a collaborative and inclu- inclusive environment like everybody should consider it's their own company and they are contributing into their own company uh, uh, like uh, they they might have like one thing with uh, startups right uh, uh, which we may not get to with mnc is like stock options okay you you might uh, get a offer with some startup also tomorrow maybe you can uh, ask uh, like get to know like what kind of stock options they are giving tomorrow you might become suddenly rich okay so, uh, if you have uh, some 100 stocks or 1000 stocks and they are going from 1 dollar to 100 dollar you are already uh, in a very good uh, spot there so that's uh, one thing as a uh, opportunity with startup you can get employee stock options so, so we need to uh, uh, value the employee contributions uh, because it's a small team we need to recognize uh, the employees contribution and provide growth opportunities career growth opportunity uh, as a leader yeah this is the last uh, last slide uh, so we need to uh, conclusion is like what like legal and ethical considerations as the topic suggested it was it's a very uh, interesting topic and it's very deep okay and uh, there are some things which uh, i am i am from a engineering background basically you need somebody from a legal background or a chartered accountant to Uh, give more details on what kind of company you want to uh, build is it uh, a private limited firm or like uh, uh, other implications you you want to go uh, like there are ip experts i can give that details like if anyone needs uh, you need to get in touch with ip experts for intellectual property fringe infringement of that uh, so basically this is a foundation the legal and ethical part becomes a foundation if you want to grow as a startup you are just not like having a w- one small thing and you are done tomorrow you are going to something else you want to bring this startup to a new next tata or uh, 
Infosys or any other Tesla or any other big company you want to become, right? These are the foundation small footsteps we, you, you need to take. Okay, and uh, as I told, seek the professional's advice in this. Okay, not just somebody uh, uh, you know is uh, already owning a startup or something like that, but it's way beyond that legal implications. The, there need to be legal consultants who can answer this. Okay, so that's about the uh, today's topic. Okay. Any any queries anybody has? I'm I'm done with my uh, presentations. Sir, on behalf of the students, I'm asking the question. Sir, after soon after finishing the engineering, can they have the idea of uh, startup or they have to have some experience? So. So there is no experience required, right? Uh, I don't know the age limit. Maybe it's uh, 18 plus or what. Like you can have your own startup tomorrow also. Yeah. So you you think you have a good idea with you, right? You want to implement that and take it to the next level. That's why I'm telling. This is the age where like many entrepreneurs have come. Up. Yesterday I was looking at one video who he was telling her. Uh, uh, partner, he was telling uh, right at the age of 18 he started a company. Okay, so that's where if you have good ideas that need to be implemented, you can go. There will be an initial kharcha, small kharcha, like uh, you need to uh, give that and uh, register a company. You need to register a company, then you are uh, officially called as a startup. Before that, you try to brainstorm the idea that you have all those like ideation process. Ask to people your idea, like is it a business business viable solution? Whom you ask, people who are, uh, uh, are, are they ready to pay for that? Like whoever is having an issue, dustbin problem, somebody told a dustbin problem, right? That dustbin problem, if I am giving the equipment that's worth uh, 5,000 or 10,000 rupees, some equipment you take, sir, and your dustbin notifications will come. Nobody will be interested in that, right? So at the same time, uh, the uh, uh, it needs to be extremely uh, cost effective. It needs to be niche and uh, whatnot. The, the competition in market is huge. Sir, for registration, uh, what is the procedure? Is it a so for uh, registration, you need to, so all of you have an other card, right? So if you have an other card, uh, then you can get started with that. Uh, okay, other card and you need a address proof, your home itself can be your company. That's not a problem. Okay, I'm repeating. Uh, your home itself can be your official address. That's not a problem. You need, you need not purchase the office for just registration purpose. Use your own home for registering. Okay. You can be a director, uh, uh, like uh, like a group of members, like uh, two, three people are there. Uh, you guys can become director of the company and get started with it. So it might uh, be somewhere around 15 to 20,000 uh, 20, initial expenditure for uh, setting up a company. And uh, chartered accountants or uh, six company secretaries, CS or CAs, right? They are the best people to get in touch with initially uh, after your ideation phase. Any questions? Who wants to form a company? Anybody who is interested in forming a company? No one, sir. As of now, no one is interested. Hopefully, like they have something inside. Okay, maybe they want to. Do, they will discuss with their uh, friends and like this is the sweet time. If you even if you want to form your own company, uh, and if you have a solid idea, of course that's that should be mandatory. Uh, small question. 
So if we build a product and and I want to market it, I want to make up some finance out of it. So can you give us an idea about how can we do that financing? So you you have a product with you, right? So first of all, is that product sellable? Okay. So is it of that quality? It can go to a customer side. It's not like you develop the product and you are done, right? If it's a hardware product, they will ask you warranty. Are you able to bear that warranty period, like six months or one year? Whoever competitor is there in the market, you should understand. And your cost should be really low, and you are on top of the game, basically. Then uh, what else? Like you can start with a small pilot. That's always best. Take a one step at a time. Okay, you can't just go go on a social media and tell like we have this product and anybody want to take it. So take take a small uh, area like you are initial customers, right? The, just like the way I told like uh, these uh, computer science engineers, what they did, some Udyapa company, uh, they required that product. Okay, similarly. Whoever want uh, this product which you are talking about, go for a pilot phase. Go for an initial proof of concept. Keep getting the feedback and keep improving before even going for a sales. You are spending that small money and you you have to definitely give it to them for uh, like minimum uh, value or like free also. Like you just give it for free. Sir, use it and keep giving me feedback. You keep improving on that and keep small steps. Maybe cover a small market which you can manage because you need a support system also. That when you are selling a product, you need a support system also. That's where POC you you need not have a registered company, but maybe you are going to an industry they will require as a company like to sign the MOU and all. Okay, so it depends on company to company.
Dan na? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, this is very good. I can see I have here. Stop it. Stop it. 